yourself journey and welcome to my youtube channel electronic curiosities today we are going to see what's inside this cfl bulb and what are the input and output voltage input and output voltage is across this cfl bulb the cfl stand for compact fluorescent light or a lamp and let's see first it's working when we supply it the current flows to these tubes and come back to this tube these tubes are consist of argon gases and mercury vapors when the current is passing electrons are flowing to it when the electrons are flowing at a fast rate it produces the invisible light with argon and mercury gases so to see the, this invisible light there is this white coating inside called made up of phosphor that will make invisible light ultraviolet light into uh, visible light that we can see let's see what's inside this cfl bulb i am opening it now i'm using this screwdriver for opening you can use anything that will have sharp so open i'm opening this i open this this and this are this and this is not working but this is working i am i will show you this this voltages across this so as compared to this bulb these are the incandescent bulb as compared to this bulb this uh, cfl bulb are good because for example if this bulb is consuming uh, say 100 watt this will consume a uh, 32 watt will produce the same as uh, same light as the this incandescent bulb so i can say this this cfl bulb consume less power and is long lasting let's see first these components i am also opening this on this let's see the component inside it this is of uh, 15 watt uh, lamp let's see starting with this here this is a non-polar capacitor it is also got a simple capacitor or pf capacitor these all are uh, non-polar capacitor pf capacitor simple capacitor and these are transistor this and these are transistor and uh, here these are the cap two capacitor of value uh, also can be here. by 250 volt 5.6 microfarad these are uh, this filter this is used for filtering dc and this is here this is choke uh, then this is a coil this is a, this is a register watt register this is a driver transformer this is a driver transformer wounded with ferrite coil let's see what's inside this cfl bulb these are the all pf capacitor this is driving transformer this is capacitor uh, this is choke this is uh, this is also transistor mm -hmm. This, this both are the transistor that hold means that controls the uh, power in all the circuit these two or uh, controls the power in the circuit these are the resistors this is the coil again and this is again the choke and this is a filter capacitor let's see in this yeah this is these are the assembly diodes small black diode this is assembly diode uh, then this uh, most of the uh, CFL have same the circuit same component depending upon this watts um, how the watts are now here here it has see here um, diodes are used here diodes are used here these are the diode that convert uh, AC current into DC current to provide this otherwise all the circuit are similar now let's see 
the input voltage and the output voltage here now let's see what is the input and output voltage of this CFL bulb uh, this have here uh, two filament here and here and each filament have two wires uh, let's see the input and output voltage I am switching on now I have selected here on multimeter maximum 750 volt I am switching it on it will on now this is on you can see be careful while checking here it is as you can see because of my small mistake the full CFL bulb is short circuited I will uh, repair it but I am showing with this new with this new CFL bulb input voltage let's check I am owning it be careful while using AC uh, as you can see my little because of my little mistake the full circuit is gone now I will show you the input voltage be careful this as you can see on the multimeter it's 244 the input 245 or 244 the input let's check the output across this mm. this thing here the output of this this is something 2.1 volt 2.1 and here it's 1.6 volt so you can see this part is 2.1 one and this part is 1.9 so closer to 2 so uh, thanks for watching if you like this video you can like and share and subscribe to my channel so that's it <laughs>